Good evening, happy Friday, everybody. How awesome has this tournament been? My bracket, it's completely blown to shit. I can't believe it. This, this is like, oh my God, it's unbelievable. And I love it! I absolutely love it. Uh, this, this has just been a great tournament. I can't complain at all, even though my bracket's looking horrible. How about Butler over Syracuse? Uh, Butler's playing great basketball, but Syracuse, they're supposed to be a powerhouse. They, uh, they did not get it done. That was a great game. And you have got to see this shot at the end of the first overtime to send it into two overtimes for Xavier and Kansas State. Tell me I did not call that. I was on the fence last time. I didn't know which team was going to win. I knew it was going to be close. It doesn't get any closer than this. This may be the most exciting game so far in this tournament. Take a look at this clip. deep three or what sends it into double overtime uh kansas state comes out on top uh in that matchup but boy what an exciting game now i was pretty cocky there in that last segment you know getting that little attitude going on about how i knew that was going to be close and yeah well now it's time for me to hang my head in shame because baylor just blew saint mary's up and i'll tell you the words as they were coming out of my mouth last week as I talked about how Baylor was going to seem like a walk in the park compared to Villanova. Yeah, they walked in the park all, all over St. Mary's. Wow, 72-49. So, uh, okay, I'll give you a moment of, of silence so you can laugh at me. <laughs> okay, we're back. I love March Madness. Makes me matter than I already am. So, how about Washington and West Virginia? Now, I, I picked Washington, and I know, I'm not going to let you laugh at me on that one, because Washington played that game right into the second half real tough. It was a close game, and then uh, about you know, three, four, five minutes into the second half, uh, West Virginia started to pull away. Washington, they, they were getting steals, they were getting fast breaks, but then they were choking, uh, and they were, trying to, they were trying to make the game go too fast. And, uh, and they were making some mistakes. It's real unfortunate. I think Washington was good enough to beat West Virginia. They just kind of choked in that second half. Tried to go too fast, didn't let things develop. That's unfortunate. Uh, but West Virginia advances. So take a look, though. I, I mean, you know, the Huskies are in the Northwest, so i got to show you a, a little clip of a really nice jam uh, by Washington. Take a look at this. Another one bites the dust. Okay, wrapping up the round of 16, Michigan State, Northern Iowa. Iowa. Northern Iowa playing it real tough right down to the final seconds, but Michigan State pulls it out, so I got that one right in the bracket, thank God, but I need all the help I can get. This is crazy. I love it. And, uh, of course, uh, Tennessee. Gotta love that, huh? Over Ohio State. Yeah. That's right. I got that one right. Whew. Okay, I was a little nervous about that, but they did. They got. They took care of business. Kentucky over Cornell. Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, the first five minutes of that game, Cornell kept Kentucky out of the paint, forced them to shoot the jump shot. I was sitting there getting real nervous, like, uh, guys, the Ivy Leaguers are, like, owning you. Do something. And they did. And they blew them out. So that's what we expect. Moving on, Duke uh, rolled over Purdue. Yeah, we pretty much knew that was going to happen. So we've got two number ones left, Kentucky and Duke. And, uh, of course, the, those two may meet in the Final Four. Uh, we will only have uh, one number one at the most in the Final. So that's kind of cool. It wouldn't be neat if there were no number ones in the Final. It could happen. This has been one of those tournaments where being the number one seed maybe isn't such a good thing. But uh, I love it. It's great. Uh, we're moving on, and I'll be right back with my picks for the round of eight. Alright, no more fooling around, guys. This is the Elite Eight. This is some serious shit. Who is going to be in the Final Four? Will it be Michigan State, or will it be the Tennessee Volunteers? Mm. Guess what? I think it's State. The Volunteers have been playing kind of sloppy basketball and just winning it with heart. And you know what? At this point, you're going to need a little more than just heart. And I think State advances. 
Butler, Kansas State. Got to go Wildcats on that one. Uh, Wildcats are looking good. They're in the Final Four. Other side of the bracket, Kentucky and West Virginia. Now, you might think that's going to be uh, close, tough to call. Nah, I don't think so. You know, West Virginia looked real good against Washington, but Washington is not Kentucky. Now, are they? That's right. Kentucky, they roll. We're going to have two sets of Wildcats in the Final Four. Duke and Baylor. This is the toughest one for me to call because Baylor, I got a whole new respect for Baylor after the way they completely demolished St. Mary's. But in the end, I think it's got to be Duke. They got the number one seed for a reason. Uh, I thought they were the weakest number one, but uh, obviously I was wrong about that. I've been wrong about a lot of stuff in this tournament. Uh, I don't uh, necessarily, uh, I'm not a big fan of Duke, but guess what? Whether I like it or not, they're going to the Final Four. So there you have it, folks. Duke, Kentucky, Michigan State, Kansas State. That's your Final Four. I'm calling it. I'm going out on a limb. That's the way it is, and nobody better argue with me. Actually, you, you probably should argue with me because I've been sucking on this tournament. I love it. I love it. I love it. March Madness. See you Sunday night. Another one bites the dust. Hey, gonna get to do another one bites the dust. Hey.